don't be afraid of bullets minister of defense tells soldiers in northeast on sunday minister of defense retired brigadier general bashir magashi led the chief of defense staff service chiefs on ass assessments to visit operation lafia dole the honorable minister on arrival at the headquarters of operation lafia dole in my my malari cantonment the theater commander of opld Major General Farouk Yahaya lauded him for his sustained commitment to the operation. The Defense Minister, speaking at the visit, challenged the troops to set up to the fight against ISWAP slash Boko Haram terrorists and should not be afraid of the bullet. Going further, he said that what he should, what should be on their minds of the soldiers while battling the terrorists should be about securing the country. You shouldn't be afraid of the bullet because it can even meet you in your house if you're meant to die by it. If you're not meant to die by the bullet, it will never kill you at the heart of war, the defense minister said. After addressing the troops, the theater commander of Lafia, of Lafia Dole presented him a detailed brief on the deployment challenges and projections of the operation. The minister, during the assessment, also visited wounded troops admitted at the 7th Division Medical Services and Hospital and interacted with them. He also conveyed the appreciation of Mohammed Buhari for, for, his, for his efforts and sacrifices. I don't even know. I understand that. Okay, fine. It, it's a really harsh, I would say, statement. Of course, I'm a civilian. And um, the people in the military, they're very much disciplined protocol it is what it is. You are responsible, so we can't sugarcoat anything. But again, with how this man has been moving and the corruption of the country and the patterns of the country with no wins, was it's a different thing. If he says this and Nigeria had a record or a pattern of having defeats again and again and again, it's a different thing. But it's highly worrying, very, very worrying when we haven't had a pattern of, of, you know, of successes where we can confidently say that our system is working well enough, even on a micro scale, where you have, where you have, you know, little, little um, or small micro aggressions here and there and violence, and it's handled perfectly, let alone soldiers, you know, not being able to defeat Boko Haram, proper insurgents, proper terrorists for so long, and you're telling them not to be afraid of the bullet and then you wonder why you guys do not have a lot of um or you guys are always requesting for more recruits when the market i'm not saying lie to them but come on now what is there to fight for if you're not if you're not fighting for them as well <sighs> someone says dishonorable minister your papa dear you want them to die for the useless country that doesn't care for the living talkless of the dead hmm Yes, they should not be afraid, but it's better if you lead them to the war front. Like, except you'll be at the front. That, that's it. Uh, someone says, even fools are wiser than the wise. In the, in the Nigerian military, please, instead of dying like a rat to drop in your guns, uh, like, instead of dying like a rat to drop your guns and run for your lives, Nigeria is not worth dying for. Stupid nation with stupid leaders. Please motivate the troops with monetary rewards and properties for their families. Please, we want to hear from you hear this from you honorable minister again you don't have the incentive you're not creating incentives whereby they feel motivated to work or feel motivated to go fight if you're telling them oh don't be afraid of a bullet we're talking bombs here okay and it's not just some liquid liquid this is proper war ammunition uh someone says motive them with something or ask them what they want great army god great army god bless nigerian army um Soldiers, please don't fear bullets. Let those heartless leaders push you to war front without good weapons. At least when you die, they will give you secret mass burial without honor and convert your widows to their lovers. Nigeria is no more worth dying for. Who you <laughs> I don't know why this person has had salt and pepper and plot twist and say, Okay, fine, your widows turn to their lovers. Like, how does this you're just trying to provoke? But I guess I guess the point is basically trying to make is that there's literally no point why fighting for a country that is that is not committed to seeing you win and committed for the country to be safe and committed on a on a basic level they don't rate nigerians i mean do you see how buhari reacts to certain emergencies like we have to literally bully and beg and cry even 
in the NSAS protest, 12, almost how many hours after protesters were killed, the Ghanaian president addressed us before the Nigerian president. Imagine. Imagine your uncle coming to fix your house problems when your dad is literally right there, not doing anything. How embarrassing is that? Uh, somebody says, don't mind him. He's a comedian. Die because of what? I laugh in Kotonu language. Let's laugh because it seems like this whole thing is a joke. Uh, someone says, but sure, your family um, are enjoying when they kill nobody. Okay, that's, I'm not even going to read that. Someone says, don't be afraid of bullets when you're in Abuja enjoying black man is wicked. Yeah, it's the wickedness that's reflected in inflicting pain on your brothers when you know what to do to take that pain away. That is wickedness. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Because again, they would definitely not send their children or send themselves. I mean, all the time that they were in the army, what have they achieved? Crickets. Silence. I don't hear anything. Nothing. So again, it's like if you're working hand in hand with a government that does not rate its citizens to so basically... Tell them to die for a country that would not even, that does not even care. I, I don't, how do you, how do you want that to happen? So again, it makes the Nigerian soldiers look very stupid. But then, so, there has to be a military. Like we have, imagine if the military just resigned and nothing happened and no one was defending us. I mean, I, I don't know. Imagine there was no line of defense. Would we all just get invaded? Absolutely not. But it's very sad. I mean. I'm appreciating soldiers even more because there's there's no point. There's no reason why there's no reason why they should be they should be disrespected in such manner with all they're going through and the mental what do you call it? The trauma that's gained. Because again when you have when you see soldiers they probably spend their whole lives fighting for a country and um it's like uh, it's so sad. Do countries actually win wars? And it's again I think it's military <laughs> my opinion i think it's just a reflection of how we're being used as pawns against our own selves while a, a small major a small minority enjoy enjoy and just use all of us as puppets all we have to do is stand up have you seen that um that that image of of world powers or just men making decisions playing monopoly on the backs of of people of the world and there and it's a lot of people but then the people actually playing the game monopoly on their backs on the backs of the actual people the civilians are actually a very small amount of people and then in the picture just says all you have to do is stand up and the game the game ends the game falls over and that is what actually happens put what i think about this in the comment section below and do not forget to like and subscribe